Man, that's lame. I was like hella miles away, but that cop was just like, nope. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this moment, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Eh, working on it. Hi, Carla. How are you? So, bitch. Oh, there's my office. Hey, Carla. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. He's been avoiding me like a play. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Tyler is still not here. I better try to get him a ring. Hi, Carla. Hi, Garrett. Oh, wait, Carla. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Great. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay. I'll be at my desk all morning. All right. Tyler, you better get your black ass over here. Surf the internet. Remember, kids, have good light. Nyan cat. What the? This isn't what I wanted. Rebellion. It's all happened before. Kirsten, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, now I'm stressed out. Thanks a lot, Spam.
Top secret boost stash. Oh, hey, what's this? Well, what? Switch to Tyler. The bitch still isn't out of bed. Get your ass out of bed. Let's stay a little longer. Mm. Sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and I'm out of here. Mmm, got my Funkadelic 70s police uniform on. Ready to kick crime's ass. Tyler, he's one bad mother. Shut your mouth. Go back to bed, Sam. You're going to catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning I'm, I'm terrified that something's gonna happen to you. I know how you feel, Sam. There's a lot of violence out there. But if nobody does anything, it's all gonna go to shit. We're gonna have kids someday. I wanna leave them a world that's a little better than the one we've got now. Why does it have to be you who's out there risking his life, Tyler? Why couldn't we just go to Florida and work with my family and live a normal life like everybody else? Why do I have to wonder if you're going to die every day? I'm just not made for that kind of life, Sam. I've been around too much violence all my life to go live some kind of normal life like that. I know you're not there. So try to understand me, too. Mm. Keep the bitches in line. Get my jacket. Come on, baby, give me some sugar. Oh, yeah. I love you, Tyler. We'll talk about that later. These funky tunes you got on. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is okay for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. Man, this police station is black tastic. What's up, niggas? Yo, what's up, B?
You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example. Jeff, don't tell me you're prepared to ruin a beautiful friendship for a hundred lousy dollars. This may surprise you, but yes. So give up the cash before I start to get really angry. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks right there. But if you lose, you lose. You'll give me two hundred bucks if I win. You got my word, man. All right, you're wrong. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. Oh, yeah. Waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? All right, let me hang on my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. It's really hot. I might turn on a fan in here, and hopefully it won't be too loud. Hey, Tyler. What's up, Frank? So, what do you want to start with? What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim. It was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Frank found a book on one of the tables in the diner. It was Shakespeare. Uh, The Tempest, I think. Did you check for prints? Yep. And they matched the one on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during the struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. <laughs> Why not? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not kill them? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Mm, he eats his own, Carl. I do the testing. You figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. 